Hey, what's happening, guys? What you're looking at here is the square wave output from, you'll never guess, that's right, a 555 timer. But what I want to show you today is how to change frequencies of the 555 timer without affecting the duty cycle. You see, we've got pretty close to a 50% duty cycle here. And we want to keep that. Or you could adjust it. You know, maybe you want a 33% or a 66% duty cycle. Either way, whatever duty cycle you want, this will allow you to keep that duty cycle. So, I'm going to zoom out. And then we're going to come down here. And I'm going to show you the circuit because it's pretty simple. Let's get you in place here and I'm going to adjust the lights. Okay, here is the entirety of the setup. What we got at the heart of it here is the 555 timer. And it's set up in my super simple 555 timer setup. You take a pot, this one, um, I think it's 50K, and you put it across pins 8, 7, and 6. Okay, nothing connects to pin 5. Then you connect pin 4, which is the reset, to pin 8, which is VCC. And you connect... Um, trigger which is pin 2 to pin uh, 6 what's pin 6 oh, I can't believe it's slipping my mind threshold pin 6 is the threshold yes I had to look it up is this what old age has in store for me oh man so like we said pin 4 is connected to pin 6 that is reset connected to VCC threshold is connected to trigger Pin 3, our output is going to this uh, LED down here. It's also going to this wire here, which is just a feed for our oscilloscope. But it's going here. Pin 1 is going to ground. And here's your ticket. Pin 3, our out, or pin 2, which is our trigger pin, which generally has a capacitor on the end of that chain going to ground. Well, what I've done is I put a little three-way dip switch on here. And we have... Uh, different ceramic capacitors um this is 0.1 microfarad i believe and this is one and this is 10. is that right yeah that's right 10 1 and 0.1 and you can see what i've done here is i've just taken two little bits of wire and i've connected all three of these together and then you know I've connected it back to the 555 timer on the trigger pin. So now when we switch frequencies, which I'm going to show you here in a second on the oscilloscope, we don't change our duty cycle. So let me roll up here. If we get really lucky, I might be able to get everything in one picture. Can we do it? Are we that lucky? Maybe. Yeah, I think we can do it and get it all in there. Okay, so we are on setting one now, which is 22 hertz. Now, when I turn this switch off, you're going to notice the frequency is going to increase radically right there. Well, that's because there is capacitance hidden in the steel strips that make up the breadboard. So we were at 20 hertz, now we are at 181, not quite the 200 we were looking at, but you know, nothing's perfect in electronics. But again, you can see our duty cycle has remained constant. And now we'll put in the, uh, the smallest one, the 0.1 microfarad. And our frequency is 1.6, and once again, our duty cycle remains constant. So, for the cryptologically minded among you, you're saying, but Paul, there's three switches here. You've only shown us three combinations. What, what should the actual combination be? What is it? A three times three minus one or something like that? I, I don't know. So, yeah. So, if we turn all of the switches off using only the capacitance of the breadboard itself, 
we get 483k but it's 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 an ugly 483k if we turn all these switches on we're gonna get somewhere around 19 i thought it'd be a little bit lower interesting flipped up to 20 there so what if we turn switch number one off that gives us uh 163 hertz what if i turn switch number two off that gives us 21.9 hertz and if i set number three off we get 19.9 so there are other combinations that are valid and you can do this with uh you know as many capacitors and dip switches as you have you know i just pulled a little three-way out of this kit but it goes all the way up to what 10 yeah 10 position so that is a way to do it is it the best way i don't know is it the only way no it is a way to do it and it's as you can see relatively simple very few parts you need the uh 555 the trimmer however many capacitors and a dip switch to match it and some wires you're good to go so i hope that helps you guys out if it did leave a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace